So you've created a Squarespace template and you've sold it to a customer. Now, how do you send it to them? Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative and today we're gonna to talk about the method for actually delivering Squarespace templates to your customers. I wish I could tell you that there's a super secret way of automatically delivering templates to customers without having to lift a finger. Unfortunately, there's not. So let me run you through the basic process of how to send a template to a customer. Okay, so in your Squarespace dashboard, you're simply going to duplicate the template that you are going to send to your customer. So we have our Sophie 7.1 template here, and I'm just gonna use that as an example. Click on the three dots and then click duplicate website. This might take a few minutes. So we usually duplicate all of the websites that we need to transfer and then go and do something else while we wait for them to duplicate. You'll see it duplicating at the top here and it's progress. Okay, so it's officially duplicated over. You can see it says copy after Sophie 7.1 and it has this bizarre domain, something that Squarespace has just generated automatically. The second step we like to do is to check that everything is actually copied over correctly. 90% of the time, everything will copy over perfectly, but on the off chance that it doesn't, it is good to go through and just check everything and make sure it all looks okay and all the blocks are where they're supposed to be. So basically I just zoom through with my eyes and make sure everything is in the right place and looking good. When you copy over a website like this, things like Instagram block and social buttons won't be connected, but that's totally fine because you're gonna want your customer to connect their own accounts anyway. So actually it works pretty well. Okay, so let's say I've looked through this whole site and everything is looking good and I'm ready to send it over to my customer. We're going to go to settings, permissions. I'm gonna click invite contributor and I'm gonna put the details here of my customer. So their name and their email address. I'm gonna talk about getting the email address a little bit later in this video. If they have an existing Squarespace account, that email address is associated with that account. Otherwise, if you send it to an email address that they don't have an account with Squarespace, it's going to prompt them to create a new account. Once you've put in their correct details, make sure to click administrator and then click invite. Now this template will be on its way to your customer's email inbox. So your customer is gonna get an email that looks something like this. This is an automated email from Squarespace that is asking them to accept the invitation that you just sent to the new site. Now, sometimes this email can get lost in the mix of things. So we also like to manually send the invite link out to our customer. So you do that by copying this invitation link. And then of course, emailing them at the email address they gave you. So we send them the invite link and a few details about how to access their template and a reminder on how to access their resources and all that good stuff. So anything else that you wanna include in that email that you think will help can be really useful, but I definitely recommend manually sending that invitation link because quite often that Squarespace email does get lost. So at this point, we need to just wait until they've accepted the invitation. And once they've accepted the invitation, we can finally transfer the ownership of the site to them and then leave the site. Now, usually this takes a few days for them to accept. Sometimes it's instant, but sometimes it can take weeks for someone to accept. So it's good to have some processes here to remember to check back on the site, see if they've accepted. If they haven't accepted, then follow up with them via email. But nine out of 10 times, people will accept relatively quickly. And then I recommend going into your Squarespace dashboard once or twice a week and just transferring ownership of all of the sites that have been accepted in the last few days. Once they have accepted, you'll be able to see here their name under contributor or administrator instead of it saying invite sent. And you'll also be able to transfer the site to their ownership. So you'll click on your own name, click transfer ownership, and then verify your login. And you'll be able to choose from this drop down menu their name only once they've actually accepted your invite. Once you've transferred the ownership, you'll easily be able to see this little man icon in your dashboard. And this essentially means that you're now the contributor. You are no longer the owner. So you can easily just click the three dots and click on remove me, which is going to remove you from the website and leave the correct owner as the owner. So you'll no longer have any access to the website, only your customer, will have full control and ownership of their new template. Okay, so now you know the basic process. Let me give you some tips to make it all easier. Number one, make sure to get all of the details you need from your customer when they check out, particularly their Squarespace account email. So you'll usually get an email from them when they check out, but their email used to purchase the template may be different than their actual Squarespace account email address. 
and you're gonna need the letter to send the template to the right Squarespace account. So make sure you get that. Number two, if you're sending any tutorials or resources as part of your template, this can be done automatically through whatever checkout software you're using. So this video is only about actually transferring the template, but if you have other resources that come with it, you can actually make that fully automated through your e-commerce and checkout system, depending on what software you're using, but pretty much it can always be done. Number three, create a solid process in your project management software. So when you start selling lots of templates, you can outsource this whole transfer process to a VA. We have such a solid process around transferring our templates that I've been out of the transferring process for literally years. I can't remember the last time I did one of those. And it's so solid that I could really get anyone to do it. This process will look different depending on what checkout software you use to sell the templates, or what project management software you use. For example, we have ours automatically set up so that when someone buys a template, it automatically creates a task within ClickUp, which is the project management software we use. And that task has all of the customer and template details and a due date, and it assigns the correct person to complete the delivery. So creating something like that where you don't have to be involved in the process at all will make things a lot easier on you. Now one last thing I have to mention if you've made it all the way to the end of this video is that we're working on an amazing resource for web designers who want to create and sell Squarespace templates in their business. It's going to be a complete guide to starting your Squarespace template shop from the ground up. So if you're interested in that make sure you sign up to our waitlist so we can email you all of the details when it's ready. The link for the waitlist is below this video. If you're watching this in the future, maybe this resource already exists. So in that case, we'll just link that below instead. So check it out if you're interested. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will see you in the next video.